I'm Aileen Abrams of NISBA's legal department with today's mailbag question. What are the rules regarding concerts during the holiday season? This is a common question at this time of year. The federal constitution requires that governmental entities, including school districts, act in a manner that is neutral towards religion and not promote or become entangled in religious matters. Districts generally have policies that address this issue. In the end, however, whether their actions comply with or violate this rule will depend on the specific facts involved. For example, one school district changed the name of its concert from winter to Christmas because the community was predominantly Christian and mainly celebrated the Christmas holiday. The Commissioner of Education noted the district's purpose was to advance a particular religion, and therefore this change violated the constitutional rule requiring neutrality towards religion. On the other hand, the Commissioner found no problem with the singing of God Bless America at a school assembly memorializing September 11th. The assembly had the secular purpose of bringing the school community together, and the song was chosen to express patriotism, not to advance a religious view. According to the U.S. Supreme Court, school districts may acknowledge religious holidays and programs that have religious significance, as long as these programs contain some educational or cultural purpose. Similarly, according to at least one federal appeals court outside New York, school districts may permit religious music to be performed at school-sponsored events when presented objectively and appropriate to the curriculum. However, school district policy may prohibit the performance of celebratory religious music at school-sponsored events to maintain neutrality toward religion. Issues involving religion in the schools are always sensitive. Therefore, school districts may wish to consult their school attorney for guidance, and districts can contact NISBA attorneys for help as well. Thanks, and send your questions to mailbag at nisba.org.